Well, you may not know it, but scientists do, and they're concerned. They say there are fewer insects today across North America than there were a generation ago. That's a major problem. Jeff Skevington is an agricultural Canadian, Canada science, sorry, an agriculture Canada science, scientist. <laughs> it's a good thing you're the scientist who studies insects and he's joining me from Ottawa this morning. Uh, Jeff, first of all, what evidence do we have that there are less bugs? Well, we've had a lot of evidence showing up in our collections over the years. I work in the Canadian National Insect Collection, and uh, there are hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of species that have just disappeared from the collection, things that haven't turned up for years. Um, what, the, what we really needed, though, was comparative quantitative evidence to show how much they've declined, and there's been some really nice papers recently showing these declines. Um, for example, in Europe, uh, Axel Semanic just did a study where he looked at a nature reserve zone. So this is a protected area, and they compared samples from 30 years ago until till just a couple years ago, and they did sampling two different years to try to remove any weather effects. And there was an 80% decline in insect biomass, and then he looked at the species and found huge numbers of species that disappeared as well. So, so these are huge declines, not, not uh, tiny little declines. So what do you think the cause is? Well, that's always the big problem, right? So, so I think at this point, uh, we need more studies to show where the declines are. Are they, are they widespread everywhere? We, we think that the declines aren't as big in Western Canada, for example, as in Eastern Canada, but uh, they appear to be across Europe as well. So, so uh, getting more studies to find out how significant the declines are everywhere is important. And then in terms of cause, there's probably a whole bunch of factors contributing to it. So for example, uh, climate change must have an effect. Uh, just uh, looking at how variable the weather is now in the spring quite often. You'll have really big warm spells, so you get a flush of insects coming out, followed by a cold snap with freezing temperatures. In the fall, we had this big bubble of air that was really unprecedented this September. Um, big numbers of insects showing up with that, but mostly aphids coming in from the south. So, uh, so lots of changing uh, things there. Of course, insecticides are made to kill insects. They're having an impact. Uh, we have a whole new suite of insecticides, neonicotinoids, that are uh, undoubtedly having some impact as well. Uh, so lots and lots of different things. Uh, loss of habitat, of course, is huge. Right. Um, so uh, we're, we're pretty worried. Jeff, uh, people hear less bugs and they think, you know, I think this is a good thing. But obviously there's a serious side to it. Why does it matter when we see a decline in bugs? Sure. So, so we tend to focus uh, as humans on the pest insects. And there are actually really relatively few pest insects. Of course, there's things that eat our gardens and our crops, and there, there are insects that bite us. But uh, most insects are benign or actually beneficial. There are, there are thousands of species that are uh, parasitoids. So one of the groups I study, they actually attack other insects and uh, kill them. There's another group I work on that are predators of aphids and things. All of these things are affected. And so the whole ecosystem's going out of balance. Just adding or subtracting a single species uh, in an ecosystem is, can have you know, huge repercussions for humans. Uh, as well as uh, the environment in general. And here we're talking about you know, an 80% reduction overall with, with whole suites of species removed. And particularly, a lot of wetland species uh, in, in Axel Semantic study uh, seem to be really uh, amongst the most affected, even though the wetlands in the reserve and the habitat overall hadn't changed in the 30 years since the original sampling. Jeff, it's interesting science, stuff that I hadn't looked at closely before. So thank you for bringing it to our attention. You're very welcome.